Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface on the Alpha for Battle for Azeroth. And if you saw yesterday's video, things are already starting to look a little bit more grounded. Now, yesterday what I did was I brought you the changes that Blizzard have made to the Affliction spec in this upcoming expansion. So I'm going to keep that momentum going. And today I'm going to bring you the changes to the Destruction spec... And tomorrow, I'm going to bring you the changes to the Demonology spec. And there's a very good reason why I'm leaving that one to last. Winky woo. Now, destruction is a bit of a touchy subject with me. I've got to confess. Because I used to be a destruction warlock. All the way through Mists of Pandaria. And all the way through Warlords of Draenor. I may have had my issues with the contents of those two games... But one thing that Blizzard got absolutely spot on was the play style for the Destruction spec. It was fast, it was furious, it was frenetic. It ticked all the right boxes for me as a player. But then Legion came along and made some rather weird tweaks to the spec. Made it very clunky. They didn't make it fluid how it used to be. And that really, really kind of got my goat. And... Suddenly, I found myself complete and utterly out of love with the destruction spec, with those tweaks and changes. Eventually, leaving the Warlock class completely, as I wasn't gelling particularly well with Demonology and Affliction either. But when I returned in November of last year, I actually returned back as a Warlock and not the Demon Hunter, which I had been playing throughout the course of the Legion Alpha and Beta and into the early start of the game. So what exactly are we going to see with the changes to Destruction today? Well, they've brought back a couple of things which absolutely work and I'm very happy about. A couple of things that I'm not necessarily happy about, and I'll tell you for why. But one thing that is absolutely noticeable from the get-go is the crazy good spell animation changes. Oh, come on. I had to do that to a montage. Those spell effects absolutely deserved it. So with that said, I'm going to start off this video with just a wee bit of a critique here, Blizz. And it's not a huge one. And I hope you hear me on this because I think it would work better. Destruction is quite clearly a different animal to demonology and affliction. The fact that you just use fire instead of soul energy really makes it stand out from the two. So at the top, I don't think we need soul shards for destruction. Please, can you just change it to burning embers? I think it would really work with this class. You don't really operate off the soul energies. This is all about fire. So if you tweaked it back to, you know, burning embers, I just think it'd work better. It's not a big deal, but I'm just saying. I just think it would work that little bit proper. So with that said, I'm going to start off with a couple of compliments, and then they're going to go into another critique, and we'll see where we go from here. But first of all, if you look at the spell bar, Conflagrate and Shadow Burn. <laughs> Thank you, Blizzard. This is one of the things which I didn't like in Legion, was the fact that if you went with Shadow Burn, then it actually overrode your Conflagrate spell, and therefore you only had one or the other. Now we've got both back, and this is how it used to operate. So you've got your Conflagrate that you can whack with a target, and also through talents tweak to burn the enemy, but we'll see the talents momentarily. And then you have the Shadow Burn, not just for executions, how it used to be, but you can use your Shadow Burn wherever you want. It's just using up the charges that you have. And to me, that makes the spec flow 
better. And that's exactly my problem with the spec in Legion. It just felt way too clunky. But I've got to go to another critique now. And I just really wish Reign of Fire wasn't a Soul Shard cost ability. I really wish that it was a mana cost ability. I think it would work so much better and make the whole spec flow much better if it was. And I'll tell you my reasoning behind this. And you may or may not do, uh, agree. And, you know, that's all that's all well and good. If I'm doing my AoEs, then I'm using my Incinerate. And what I'm doing, if I open up the talent tree, is using Fire and Brimstone. So my Incinerates are hitting all the targets near to my main target for 40% of the actual damage of the main Incinerate. So that's a, a big AoE dealer and you're hitting everything in its pathway. Now, this admittedly generates soul embers, and then you use the fire and brimstone as an added AoE, which uses up the uh, full soul shards. So I get the theory behind it. One AoE builds up, the other AoE uses them. But to me, that's just a clunk. It's just a clunk. And the reason why is because now we've got Havoc back in and we can have Havoc to be used with Chaos Bolts. When you've AoE'd a pack of trash down to a certain amount, now this is what I tend to find. I tend to go to strong single targets to finish them off if possible. So if I used my Incinerate with Fire and Brimstone to hit multiple targets, then I Havoc to target switch to a secondary target, and then use Chaos Bolt to bang, bang, hit them both off, then Rain of Fire really isn't coming into the equation. Because if I use Rain of Fire, it's going to eat up three of my Soul Shards, and I'm not going to be able to use them for the Chaos Bolts, which is actually what I want to do, because I need two of them for the Chao uh, Chaos, Boss, uh, Chaos Bolt cast. That's easy for me to say. <laughs> no. Um, so, yeah, to me, it just feels clunky. So, Blizz, I, I really think Reign of Fire should return to a mana cost ability, not a soul shard cost ability. Let it complement Fire and Brimstone immediately from the get-go. If you have to do a couple of tweaks to its damage, sure. You know, that's absolutely understandable. But make it complement Fire and Brimstone from the get-go and allow you to still utilise your Chaos Bolts to finish targets off. Now, admittedly, it is, again, another minor tweak as we have weather conditions kicking in. It's always what I do when it happens. Um, I know it's a minor tweak, but again, to me, it's all about the flow. And destruction really needs to flow. Fire flows, you know? And therefore, the spec needs to as well. Fuck it. Let's just go have another spell montage. All right. All right. I'm only joking. <laughs> I'm taking a piss out of my own montages now. Right. Let's start having a look at the talent tree for destruction now. So we start off with Flashover. Uh, Conflagrate deals 10% increased damage and grants an additional stack of backdraft. Uh, I personally have gone with this because I am a big Conflagrate user. I have always been so used to casting uh, Incinerate, uh, sorry, uh, Immolate, then Conflagrate, then go to your Incinerate. It's been ground in for so many years now. So I want to do as much damage as I possibly can with my Conflagrate. That is why I've actually teamed up here the Flashover and the Roaring Blaze. Uh, so Conflagrate burns the target once you hit it for additional damage over time as well. So those two uh, match with each other pretty darn well. Increased damage plus extra dot damage. Jingo bingo. You've got Eradication, which has been now pushed, uh, I think, to a level 1. I think it was a, a tier 2 uh, one before. Chaos Bolt increases the damage that you deal to the target by 10% for 7 seconds. Yeah, yeah, boring, but whatever. Soul Fire can return should you wish to have it return to the game. Cost of Soul Shard, three and a half second cast. This is the biggie. Burns the enemy's soul, dealing a critical strike of 6.6k uh, fire damage uh, and is further increased by your critical strike chance. I'm actually going to test this in a moment 
because I think the 6.6k could possibly be base damage. So if it crits, uh, if it's always going to crit, it should be higher. But it's nice to see the potential to have soul fire come back into the game. So that's a nice one. Um, you got reverse entropy. This is what I currently have on live, but I'm not doing it this time around. Uh, your spells have a chance to grant you 15% haste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice, but you know, whatever. Uh, internal combustion. Chaos Bolt consumes up to five seconds of immolates damage over time effect on your target, instantly dealing that much damage. Nice for some kabang kabang, but I've personally decided to, to double up with my instants here for some quick burst on the move um, damage and put the shadow burn in. Uh, blast the target for X amount of damage. If the target dies within five seconds, it, and blah, blah, blah. Experience and honor. It resets the cooldown on shadow burn. So although you can use it at any time, it is absolutely at its most effective if you're using it as an execute. Because if you're using it as an execute, you're going to get that charge back. It means you can whack again. So I'm just a big Shadow Burn uh, fanboy. I'm going to take it. Uh, typical uh, level here. We all know the score here. Most people go Burning Rush. Then we've got uh, Inferno. Uh, Rain of Fire has a t uh, damage. has a 20% chance to generate a Soul Shard Fragment. This is what I'm talking about earlier. This, this is why I'm not even going to consider touching Inferno. Because Rain of Fire just doesn't figure into my equation in the rotation of how I would actually personally, or my play style, I should say. Um, and I'm not I'm not knocking it for other people's play styles. I just, you know, I play the game that I'd like to play the game. And I like to play a spec the way that I like to play a spec. So Inferno, to me, is just not even going to bother getting a look in. Uh, Fire and Broomstone. Incinerate now hits all targets near to your target for 40% damage and generates a Soul Shard filament uh, Fragment for each enemy hit. So it's a great way to get Burning Embers really quickly. And, of course, it's hitting everything that you can. So if you do have big uh, tra uh, packs of trash, then whoosh, 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 whoosh. Um, but, again, I just wish... I understand... I've got to... I keep doing this because it allows me to show off the new animation. I understand, but at the same time, I still wish it was mana cost. And then Cataclysm. Uh, cataclysm calls forth a Cataclysm on the target location, dealing X amount of damage uh, to all enemies within it yards and afflicting them... With Immolate. Um, yes, good AoE. But I prefer Fire and Brimstone. It's it's a bit of a toss up really. But I'm going to go Fire and Brimstone. Because I'm a little bit lazy as well. Uh, we've had this before with um, uh, Affliction. And it's the same with Demonology as well. I'm going with an AoE stun. Uh, it's base now. Shadow Fury has gone back to being a base spell for all specs. Uh, but I like the thought of it, so I'm actually going to use the cooldown to reduce it from minute cooldown down to 45 seconds. Mortal Core is going to have its uses, and I think most people would probably choose uh, Demonic Circle. Uh, Roaring Blaze, which I've um, talked about, complementing Flashover for me, burning the target once you use Conflagrate for uh, an additional 6 seconds of damage. And then Grimoire Supremacy, not for me, thank you very much. Uh, Grimoire of Sacrifice. Not for me, thank you very much. Soul Conduit on the bottom level. Again, you know, a 15% chance to have a Soul Shard uh, refunded. It's such a big way to generate Soul Shards immediately. And if you've got spells like your, your big Chaos Bolts and whatnot, then, yeah, you, you, I, to me, you really want that. Channel Demon Fire. I never gelled with this spell in Legion. Um, I'm current, I currently have it on my Destruction Warlock, but... It just, again, it feels clunky and doesn't, to me, it just doesn't organically fit into rotation. It just feels very clunky. So I'm passing over this time. And then Dark Soul. Infuse your soul with unstable power, increasing your critical strike chance by 30% for 20 seconds, two minute cooldown. It's one of these good, you know, burst uh, abilities to have, but with a two second, a two second, I wish. Two minute cooldown, you know, it's so situational. I'd rather have Soul Conduit on at all times to allow me to have access to Soul Shards or the potential uh, to have access to Soul Shards. Okay, so what I've done now is I've switched to Soul Fire. Now, this has got a 45 second cooldown. Obviously, if this was a one Soul Shard cost, Three and a half second cast. Therefore, you could technically spam it. 
Oh! Oh! Yeah, then it could be very problematic. I absolutely understand why it has a three and a half second cast now and a 45 second cooldown. That is doing as much as, if not more damage, if I just show you here, than a Chaos Bolt. That did 11.7k Chaos Bolt striking for 8.7. So yes, this is actually stronger than a Chaos Bolt. <laughs> as you would probably expect it to be, but... Holy cow, should we see that again? Should we see that again? We've had this with Death Bolt yesterday and the Affliction spec just being an absolute kapow. But if I open up with this Soul Fire, we're going to get a, a, a better idea of the actual uh, percentage of damage. So 11, well, let's change the target. There you go, 11,320 health. If this does a big crit like we saw before, this could be in huge trouble. Now, that isn't a forums one-shot. I got one-shot by a warlock! And then you look at what they got, and they got dotted, they got dotted, they got hit, they got hit, they got hit, and they got executed at the end. No, this isn't a forums one-shot. That was a one-shot. <laughs> that, that was a legit one-shot to the poor deer that was <laughs> running around. Which, what's this got? This stag is... Oh, man. And if I did this again, if I just show you with Chaos Bolt, so if this, if I open up with a Chaos Bolt, which is huge damage, it knocks it down to 27% health. Crazy. Soul Fire, crazy. I think I might have just decided on a, a change here. Go on, we've got to do it again. If Death Bolt's this much fun, we've got to do it again. Look, Mum, no hands. Oh! <laughs> Twelve thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. One point off thirteen thousand. That didn't just kill it; it killed its mother and father as well, and they're already in the grave. Um. So Soulfire. Oh my God, Soulfire is definitely Destruction's death bolt, and I've got to say this has turned the corner for me slightly because I really had. I was going to come to the conclusion with this spec that it's it's on the right track and it's just missing a couple of things to kind of t uh, tip it over the edge. But I'm now rethinking Flash Over to Soul Fire. I don't think I'm going to rethink uh, Roaring Blaze. I think that's going to be fine because I'm not too happy with the Grimoires. Uh, but Soul Fire, and it's a first tier spell as well. It's a first tier spell. Oh, come on. One more for luck. Absolutely crazy. Oh, 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 I actually had to use a conflagrate at the end to finish it off. Oh, my God. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Soul Fire. You get, a, you get a gold star. You get a gold star. You and, you and Death Bolt, you need to get together and, you know, make babies. Because God knows what that spell would be like. Right, so there we go. Those are the changes to the destruction spec. One thing I will end the video with is Inferno. Guardians are back, but Doom Guards are gone. Doom Guards seem completely out of the game at the moment. The Inferno is returning as a Guardian, which you can summon once every three minutes. And yes, it does big damage again like your Guardians used to. But there's no Grimoire of Supremacy that's going to hold onto it for longer. So your trusted Void Walker is going to be your ally for a lot of the occasions. I was going to say, as I just mentioned, that to me, Destruction looks great uh, with the new spell animations being absolutely fantastic. But it just missed that little extra bit of spice, which I wanted uh, it to be taken over the edge. But... With deciding to change Flash Over to Soul Fire, I realized that Destruction has some unbelievable burst when you consider Soul Fire combined with Chaos Bolt is just going to pancake the living shit out of you. 
So anybody out there who comes across a destruction warlock, don't let it cast or you're dead. You're dead for generations to come. Uh, and it's kind of turned the corner on me. So destruction is now getting, instead of one thumb up, it's going to get two thumbs up, Blizz. Well done indeed. Both specs so far that I've looked at, Affliction and Destruction, have made necessary changes and tweaks to make them really, really good fun. And I have to stress once more, it is alpha and it is subject to change. But if they do make the right tweaks, Burning Embers, hopefully changing Reign of Fire to a mana cost spell. Even if it's a big, chunky mana cost spell, that'll be, you know, fine with me. But certainly, certainly on the right track. And I'll see you again tomorrow for Demonology. And I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to the channel. Do hit the bell icon to absolutely make sure you get the videos. Otherwise, YouTube, for some weird-ass reason, decide you want to subscribe, but you want to see video. We not do this. Whatever. Also, in the links down below, my social media and my Twitch for live streaming. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.